Boys and girls, now that we've listened to Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, let's make a Chicka Chicka Boom Boom painting with upper and lower case letters. I want to make it look as though all the letters have fallen out of the tree, so I'm going to have them all over my paper. I can have them going sideways, pointed upside down. I could even turn my paper as I make my letters. Some might be big, some might be little. As I'm writing my letters, uppercase and lowercase, I am saying the alphabet song. That way I can remember my letters. You might not be able to get all of the letters of the alphabet on your painting, and that's okay. Once your painting is dry, we are going to hug the letters with our markers. So I'm going to use different colors of markers and hug my letters. Here's how I do it. I pick a color and I trace around the letter, not just once, but two, maybe even three times. I really want to hug that letter a lot. So not just once, but maybe two or three times. It's good to use a variety of colors. That means to use a bunch of different colors. Any place that I see large places of white, I will add lines to fill it in to add more color. This might take some time to hug all of your letters with different color markers, but I know you will do it and do a beautiful job at it. Once you have hugged all of your letters, let's do a little bit of magic. Your markers are what's called water soluble. That means if you add water to your markers once it's on your paper, it turns into a kind of watercolor paint. I am using my paintbrush in just water. I am taking that water and tracing over my lines. I'm not taking my brush and moving it all over my paper. My paintbrush is tracing just water over my lines slowly and carefully and as it does that it begins to wake up the paint just like when you use watercolor paint. When you're finished your masterpiece will be beautiful and colorful just like you. I cannot wait to see your masterpiece complete.